Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a BMW bonnet badge quick and easy. It's actually not that difficult a task, but the trick to it is not damaging the paintwork on your car and not damaging the badge while you're doing it. Before we try to remove the bonnet badge, we need to tape all around it to try to protect the paint as best we can. I'm using a high quality low tack decorators masking tape to do this. I'll put a link to it in the description below. The advantage of low tack is that when we peel it back off later, it won't leave too much sticky residue behind. BMW bonnet badges have pins on the back of them and they push into these little black grommets which are fitted into your bumper. Now we're ready to lever off the badge with a screwdriver. And it might seem a little bit rough using a screwdriver to do this, but it really is the best tool for the job. But what I recommend you doing is getting an old credit card and putting that down in the gap first. And so what you'll be doing now is levering against the credit card rather than against the paintwork itself. Okay, so the tape did its job, so we can go ahead and remove that now. And it's just a good chance to clean up all this area just with soapy water before we put the uh, new bonnet badge in place. So on this occasion, the old grommets that used to be in those holes came out with the old badge. But if uh, they were still stuck in there, it's a good idea to put new ones in. So you could use um, something like uh, this hook, you know, to hook them out. But if that was the case, I would have left that tape in place to give the uh, paint some uh, protection in case you slip. But once you get it to this situation where there's no grommets in there, the new badge actually comes with uh, two new grommets, which you can just see here. And you just push those into the holes. And this top one here is just a locating pin for the uh, new bonnet badge. It's just a case of lining these up and then pushing it on. It's really important that you um, push it down evenly uh, in order to avoid breaking one of the pegs on the back. So I'll just keep pushing it just a little bit at one side and then a little bit at the other. Okay, so that's how to replace BMW badges. So I hope you found the video useful and if you did, then please give me a thumbs up. As always, all tools and products that I use will be linked in the description below. And if you've got any comments or questions, go ahead and post them and I'll try to help you if I can. Finally, if you liked the content and you'd like to see more, then please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye for now.